G'day and welcome back. I'm Faintly Saintly, and today we're looking at a game called Node Buster. So Node Buster is an experimental incremental game, and basically your job is to destroy nodes and increment your power, destroy more nodes, get more currency to increment your power, and so on. Looked really chill, like the art style, love the music already, and I uh, thought I'd check this one out. This is just recently released in August, I think, and it's only a few dollars on Steam. It was less than five bucks for me, so uh, definitely something to check out. I will leave a link to this one in the description if you would like to see it for yourself. Anyway, let's get into it. Entering home. What have we got here? Upgrades. Okay, you can upgrade your power, plus one damage. Bits are a common resource dropped by red enemies, so I don't have any bits yet. Can't really do anything. I think I just need to click breach. What is happening here? Okay. So this cursor is my targeting reticle, reticle here, this cube in the middle. And it just goes off automatically after a certain amount of time. So I'm not clicking. What was that? Oh, that's the currency. So it's just going off at a regular interval. I want to keep my mouse on target. I destroy these nodes, I guess. They drop this currency, which I can spend to upgrade myself. So I think I'm dead already. Session terminated. Status code 401, health reached zero. Go to home. Ah, keep that resource. Okay. So, it looks like this is just going in uh, waves, I guess. That gives me the currency to upgrade my power. I could increase the spawn rate. I could increase my health. Or I could do plus 5% damage per enemy in the area. So, I don't know what was actually hurting me yet. I'm going to take damage again. Because maybe these nodes being on the screen for longer hurts me. Well, I can kill them in one go now, which is good. See, my health is slowly dropping. 7.2, 6.5 in the top left corner there. Seems like shooting might drain it by 0.5. And it slowly trickles down. I'm wondering whether it's while these things are on screen. So the idea is to collect as many kills and resources as you can before your health drops. And that ends your session. You upgrade, you go back in for a new session. That makes sense. So a higher spawn rate means there's more enemies, which means more kills, which means more resources, which sounds good. And max health, I guess, means your life is longer. Two hundred percent spawn rate. That takes a different currency, a purple one. Plus ten percent attack size. Red enemies drop plus one bits, and that takes an SP currency. So I can increase my max health. Oh, I can upgrade these again as well, of course. Max health. Um, repair tool. Regenerate plus 0.1 health per second, and that's, that's going to cost 25 bits. Firewall, plus 0.2 armor. That'll cost eight. We only got two, so I can't afford anything else at the moment, so I'm just going to breach again. Nice. Got two for one there. So interesting to see whether this uh, session will be considerably longer now that I have a bit more health. I see there's also a progress bar down the bottom. Slowly ticking up, so it's like a race to complete that before my health runs out, maybe? Got nine bits there, so at eleven total now. Um, spawn rate attack. Wonder what armor does. Is regeneration or armor more beneficial? Do we think? I suppose this is. Well, that'll increase my longevity, but this might make me take less damage. I'll give it a try. I suppose the aim of the game is take less damage, last longer, get more kills, get more resources, right? 
loving this soundtrack. This is the kind of thing I might have on in the background while I'm working. They're very chill, love the, uh, the CRT filter style going on. Good music. Sort of simple but satisfying gameplay. It didn't explain much, but it, you know, it's intuitive enough for me to sort of figure it out as I go. Plus one armor against bosses. So there are bosses, that's interesting to know. Uh, what about 11? Could increase my attack size. Increase the spawn rate. Maybe we'll stick to the basics for now, just get these up a little bit. Bit of health, bit of damage, more spawn rate. I'm noticing these are different sizes, so I wonder whether that means um, they've got more or less health, because I did notice in the previous levels that some weren't dying with one hit and some were. Can I get the two far? Not quite. Yeah, these do seem to be getting stronger. I can't tell if it's related to size or duration. So it's like you're always going to want to keep your damage leveled up. You know, if there's more armor as well, just to see if that makes a noticeable difference. I notice now I'm not getting that burst of damage when it, whenever I attack. Oh, I wasn't watching the XP bar, but I've just leveled up as well, so that's interesting. So presumably something else will happen at the end of this session. Maybe uh, more potential upgrades or something like that would be the logical conclusion. So I suppose the idea is you want the screen to be full because that's when you get the double hits in. Particularly while you're doing one hit kills. What is that? Is that a boss? Uh, I reached the end of the progress bar and this thing came in. I also got one of the SP currencies. I wonder if that was the level up that did that for me. So one of these did take SP. It was this one. Red enemies drop plus one bits. So instantly my production is going to double. Plus one percent chance for blue enemies to spawn. 400 bits for that one. A little way off. 10% chance for double drops, that could be good. Got 23, I think. I think I want attack. I think attack size could be good. And more crowding as well. So my cursor should be slightly bigger. Nice, these guys are dropping two now. And now I can more easily go for a double kill like that. Beautiful. So they don't have to be in the center of the square, they can just be touching, which is making that possible to do that. Okay, so their enemies are getting tougher again already, they're not going down in one hit anymore. Nearly reached our progress bar. Didn't quite make it that time, but got 52 resources that time. Which is very good. Keep that damage coming. I'm gonna level that up twice now. I'm gonna increase this spawning. Get some health, get some armor. So unlocked a lot there in one go, which is good. An increased um, rate of fire would be alright too, actually. Nice. Go for these doubles when I can.
Soon we'll be getting triples by the way these uh, things are populating. Bit indecisive there. <laughs> Here we go. Ah, but they just started getting strong enough just in time for me not to be able to kill them all in one hit. Oh, I can attack this. 84. Okay. Um, I mean, I could save up for these things, but I think I really do want to spend money here. So that's everything in income, attack, survivability. Maybe regeneration is a good thing to invest in as well. So must remember to mouse over these bits that they drop to collect them. Here we go, three. Nice. Such a simple concept. You basically hover this box over these other boxes and <laughs> that's it. But for some reason it is really satisfying. It's like a good uh, good chill game to have on, you know, while you've got YouTube on your second screen or something like that. Watching, you know, your favourite faintly saintly videos. Whether I should focus on the boss or focus on these red guys so I get more bits. 117 from that run. Restore plus one health on enemy kill. That's interesting. That'll take most of our currency at the moment, though. Let's just do that. Across the board upgrades. Bit of attack, bit of survivability. More options to get multiple kills in one go, like these, which is beautiful. Nice. Go for the three fizz, there we go. Four there. So my health is not dropping. I think a combination of the armor and the regen means it's no longer just dripping away, which is great because now the boss is here and I'm practically full health, although he is damaging me, I guess, because my health has started going down since he's turned up. I'm trying to get as many reds at the same time. dead. Nearly had him. 152. I think I'll do the same thing. More crowding, more attack, more health, more armor, more regen. And bigger attack size too. That's always nice. But you're very quickly seeing how, uh, how much further I'm getting with just these simple upgrades. So that's, I suppose, the... Uh, incremental nature of the game by definition. Just slowly, slowly getting better, getting further. So I'm assuming that boss drops the other currency type, which will let me unlock more things. So ideally I can kill him pretty quickly and keep progressing. Again, haven't taken any damage yet, which is lovely. So getting to the boss now is um, a formality, really. Just being able to do enough damage to him to get him before he gets me. And hopefully collect plenty of red bits in the meantime. I've leveled up again, which is also nice. I 
with nine health left, I got him. Session terminated. Boss defeated. Prestige one unlocked. 156 bits, one SP, and one purple bit, I guess. Cores are limited resource obtained by defeating bosses. You can only earn one core per prestige level. So what took the purple core? 200% spawn rate. And nothing else at this stage, so that's happening. Okay, now can I spend the SP? No. Plus one armor against bosses, actually, that's... And plus 12 max health. Attack deals plus 5% damage per enemy in area, I mean... May as well grab that now. Uh, plus 20% attack speed. The next core I get can go right there. And more damage against bosses, which I just can't afford at the moment. I'll save some. I'll keep some in the bank. Prestige level. Unlock a new prestige level when you beat the boss of the previous one. Each prestige level increases both enemy stats and resource gain. Right, so basically starting again, like I'm going to start maybe a little bit weak, a little bit behind the eight ball. But with all my unlocked benefits, like this 200 or 100% spawn rate increase, which is very nice. I am taking damage now, as you can see, so under this prestige level, these guys are doing damage to me again. That's a big boy. Can I get him? 14 health left. Get him, gonna get him. Ah, missed all those bits that he dropped. That's a shame. But... Do I want to focus on this? Because I'm not actually reaching the boss yet. Might be time to invest in salvaging. Health on enemy kill. I'll save the rest. So that should improve the survivability at least. I don't know whether it's wise or unwise to focus on this big one. I suppose as long as I'm getting little ones in between, like I'll try and include them in my in my damage radius. It's not completely wasted. really dislike not killing them in one shot though. That's super satisfying to do. Okay, our boss is here. And he smashed me. So, a bit of boss armor. Won't go astray. I've maxed out my attack damage from this upgrade tree. Sapper, restore plus... 0.5 health when hitting an enemy. That's a new currency there as well, which I don't have yet. 50% pickup range. I didn't see that one. So I unlock these nodes. Blue nodes. I guess to get that blue currency. Bit of armor. Bit of health. Bit of spawn rate. go again. They're all bunching up nicely now, which is good. So 
So racking up the bits. My survivability is good again as well. I'm barely taking damage. And the progress bar is only full. But this boss is obviously the barrier to entry here. Let's see how well I can do against him. Oh yeah, no, I'm not ready for the boss. Three. Might get another connection buster. Because that's like a scaling damage. I'm actually going to save the rest. I think we'll go for this node finder. 400. The sooner, the sooner I get that, the sooner the blue ones will arrive. And then presumably the sooner I get the blue... Currency. Which then presumably makes me better faster. progress bar here. Let's get this last big one in. And focus on the boss here. Yeah, again, he's uh, damaging me quite a lot when I hit him. Which is fine. You know what? We're going in with the same that's just to reach that 400 bits mark. Loving these tunes. Everything about this game is just uh, so cozy, so chill. As I said earlier, I could see myself just sitting down and doing some work with this music playing in the background, like it's the kind of thing I would have going, so it's quite appealing to me. Alright, we've got 567 bits now. I can unlock the node finder. Straight away, I do have an SP point that I can't spend anywhere else at the moment. Oh, yes, I can. Regenerate full health a second. Oh, I was going to say blue nodes drop plus one, which would be nice because that's instantly just giving me double drops from them. But self repair might be a smarter choice to start with, right? Maybe. Anyway, we'll have to keep an eye out for these blue fellas now. Hopefully we'll see one soon. What was that upgrade? It was like an extra or a 1% chance for them to arrive. Hopefully my spawn rate is high enough that, you know, 1% isn't that rare. I have leveled up again anyway, so I can instantly go grab that uh, upgrade so that they'll drop two blue cores instead of just one. So that's a little bit of forward planning, I suppose. Oh, here's one. No, that's the boss. Never mind. Oh, here's one. Let me take Let me have it. Let me have it. There we go. Okay, got two out of that, that's pretty good. So I'm just ignoring the boss for the moment. 
because while I'm doing this, I'm collecting bits and staying alive. So the damage I take seems to be related to what I'm actually hitting. So my armor and my regen on hit seems to be uh, holding up against these red fellas. Although I'm taking a bit of damage now. Maybe it's also to do with how many you're hitting or how many are on screen. Not a bad haul. I've got three blue ones now. What can I get? Restore half a health when hitting an enemy. That could be good. Unlock the milestones tab. A 5% chance to spawn enemies that explode. Blue enemies drop plus one node. 10% chance for double resource drops. That could be good as well. I'm getting the node boost with my SP point. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get spawn exploders. I think. Because exploders seem like they could be useful in a group. Cost me 1500 to upgrade that again. I'm gonna get plundering. invest in some of this armor again. A bit more boss armor. Increase my chances of uh, being able to defeat him eventually. Move on to the new prestige. So again, on the lookout for some blues. What are these round ones? Oh, they explode. Okay. So the round ones are the exploding ones that I've just unlocked. Ideally, you let them survive until they get right into the midst of it all. Then you hit them. Boom. Lovely. Oh, that is awesome. I did see there was an upgrade where you can increase their explosion as well. Which would be nice. Look at this, we're hitting him and we're not taking too much damage now. So those last upgrades probably did a lot of good. I didn't think I'd be quite ready to take on this guy this run at least, this session. But it might be the case. Definitely going for the blue. in that rate of fire upgrade. <laughs> Alright, my health is starting to shrink, so maybe I got a bit greedy there. Maybe I need to hit these guys and get some... Oh no, they're taking, they're taking more damage than I'm recovering now. Sorry, dealing more damage. That's fine. Two blues. I'm going to unlock Milestones tab. Destroy 500 red enemies for a reward of 500 bits, and I can claim that. Instant cash out. Nice. 10 blue enemies. I've done four. Destroy 2,000 red enemies. I've done just under 1,000. Okay. And on it goes. All right, so keep an eye on that. Because um, that's going to be some instant uh, cashing in, which is good. Uh, next level up, I'm upgrading the Exploder for sure. Extra damage against bosses, I mean. Yes, please. Scale my damage up. Guess I'll max out my armor here. 
more armor there as well. Don't really care for pickup range that much at this stage. Uh, just get some more health and regen. Might hold on to the rest. Oh, no, I'll increase my attack size. So satisfying now, taking out so many in one go. So one thing this game has done well is that the, you know, it is an incremental game, but the development is satisfying. It is sort of, it feels good. It's tangible. You can see what you need to improve, and when you, you know, invest in that, you can see the results almost instantly as well. And again, remember, there's no tutorial, there's no hand-holding, it's just like, off you go, figure it out, and it's uh, accessible enough that you can do that. But I suppose it has to be your kind of game. This game kind of game wouldn't be for everyone, I imagine. Depends on what you like, what your mindset is, and what you're in the mood for, I guess. Nice chain reaction there. I can see some people just not being able to handle this kind of game at all. But if you're like me, sometimes a nice relaxing game like this is uh, just what you need. And as I said, whether it's, you know, while you've got something on the second screen, while you're listening to something, while you're watching something, I can see the value in it for that. Boss defeated, Prestige 2 unlocked. Got another core, got 10 blues that time, which is nice. Which also means... Oh no, I didn't destroy 10, I just got 10 in the currency, gotcha. Purple, plus 20 attack speed. Oh, here we go, we've got more damage upgrades coming. Um, 11 blue. Scaling restoration. So the more the higher my max health, the faster I regenerate as well. And I can regenerate from hitting enemies. Plus three damage. Let's go for it. I'll save the rest. A little bit concerning that I'm not killing things in one shot off the bat here in this new prestige. A little bit concerning. But my survivability seems good after those recent upgrades. is in good shape. Nice. Here comes the boss. Okay, straight for the damage. Straight for the damage. Back into it. Interesting that it's still not enough to reliably one hit even the initial enemies in this prestige. Again, a few of them, but not all of them. Lots of blues popping up now, which I like. Get that one, get that one. 
Um, okay, my boss is here. Trying to sneak in one more blue. No. That's okay though. Now I can claim this one. Oh, but do I have any anything to spend blues on? I can upgrade that again, of course. around like this after every kill. I think it's just instinct now just to try and pick up all the bits. <laughs> Lovely. Loving those bombs. Man. Yeah, certainly not ready for him. I can spend some blues up here. That didn't change, did it? Hmm. Yeah, it's got ripped off. Just gonna go to the damage. Uh, spawn rate's still applicable. Okay, once again, reliably one hit killing. Uh, maybe not. Spoke too soon. But certainly feeling a lot less uh, weak after a few of those upgrades. Oh, nice bomb. Good little chain reaction there. This is the kind of game, I mean, what I spent on, I think it was like less, it was less than five dollars. I can already tell, like, this is going to be more appealing than a lot of other games in certain situations where I just need to chill out, keep my mind busy while I'm doing something else. I find I appreciate that kind of game a lot more sometimes, like when you just want to be able to chill, but I leveled up here, that's good. You don't want to think about things too hard sometimes. What was the next SP I was going to spend? I can't remember. Was there one? Oh, I thought there was. Okay. Damage then, please. A uh, bit more max health as well. Oh, should I go for the bomb first? Better. 
So I might be in a better position to take on that boss now. I think, because it wasn't that far off last round. About to find out, I suppose. Last round I was probably assisted by a couple of good bombs as well. Speak of the devil. Nice. Prestige 3 unlocked. 740 bits, 8 blue cores, whatever they are, 1 purple core. Plus 20% attack speed. Nothing else to spend a purple on at this stage. Plus another 100% spawn rate. Costs a lot though. Shoot projectiles outwards on each attack. I can grab that right now actually, and I will. Go for the damage. I was going to wrap it up at this milestone, but I think I'll just play one more level just to see what this is like. So now I've got an extra 20% attack speed of shooting projectiles out. Plus one pulse bolts per, per attack as well. That's nice. So this will be an interesting session. I'll be attacking even faster, shooting projectiles out. Multiple projectiles out each time. Maybe I'll just grab a few more little things here. So a bit of uh, regen. Let's just see what this looks like. Oh, wow, okay. Don't know what I expected, but <laughs> it's somehow even cooler. So they've done well just to make every little interaction so satisfying. Fireworks coming out. I died, <laughs> but I'm not even mad. Uh, spawn rate. I'm just going to do one more thing just to wrap up. If I go back a couple of prestiges and just absolutely dominate it, is it going to be worth it to farm? Is it going to just scale back the resources too much to be worthwhile? Well, this is kind of whatever this game's version of a power fantasy is. <laughs> Bosses won't reappear. I, I knew you wouldn't get extra purple cores for, for doing them again, but I thought they might still turn up. So does that mean this level will just go on and on and on until I either get overwhelmed somehow? Which I guess will could happen once the screen is completely full. I might start actually taking damage again. Um, or maybe I need to press the terminate button down there just to bail early. You know, I was just seeing if this was like a, a good way to like, I could idle, leave my cursor here in the middle. I don't know, because then I won't pick up the bits. I just wanted to see if this was a feasible way to get a bit more currency quickly. We'll see. I hit that terminate button. Got a thousand, that's not bad. Out damage again. Critical hits now. High damage to undamaged enemies. Lovely. 
All right. I know I said it was the last one, but we one more. The only issue with these little projectiles is that they might uh, prematurely detonate bombs that I'm saving up. back to the old prestige to get me more resources but it would take a lot longer I don't mind doing this rather than going backwards and you can zoom right out here I wonder how far this tree goes 2k might be just enough to get one of these expensive ones that I was a bit shy to go early on spawn rate for example Plus 50% attack size, that's interesting. Plus 2 armor per enemy. Okay. Alright. Last one for real this time, I mean it. <laughs> Every time we get an upgrade, I'm just like, oh, I just want to go see what this is like. And that's how you spend an hour longer than you expected to <laughs> on the one game. Oh, this does feel nice, I'll tell you that. fully expect that boss will humble me if they even make it but that felt really good <laughs> all right and this time for reals i'm done so this again was a node buster interesting little incremental game it's very chill i love the aesthetic i love the design music is awesome as well and uh the best thing is this is a few bucks on steam so i'll chuck a link to the description Sorry, I'll link in the description to the Steam store if you're interested in checking this out for yourself. Definitely recommend it. If this is your kind of game, you think you might get some satisfaction out of it, you will uh, you'll definitely enjoy it. And if you want to support me and see more videos like this, uh, you can support me by subscribing. It helps me out a lot and keeps you in the loop when your videos drop. And I'm always looking for new and upcoming indie games to try out. So if you have any game suggestions, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you next time.